This is the tutorial for how to create a website header using paint.net. Now the first things we need is a background color layer, a layer for a headshot, a layer for some text, and a layer for an extra graphic. Let's make layer one. First I'm going to change the size for the background. So I go to image and canvas size and I want to make sure that the maintain aspect ratio is not checked. Now the width of mine is 766 pixels and the height is 136 pixels. And I click OK. And that's the new canvas size. Now I'm going to get the bucket tool in the toolbar and choose a color to fill the background layer. And that looks good. Now let's make layer two, which is a picture of your head. You need a headshot for this. I'm going to go to File and Open and find a headshot. Here's one that I have of this uh, girl. and I'll open that. Now this is quite a large picture. Uh, I'm going to resize it, but first I'm going to delete that white background. Now look over here. I still have the background and I have this headshot open. I can switch back and forth if I need to. I'm going to use the magic wand in the toolbar. Here it is right here. Click the magic wand. I'm going to click in the background and select all of that white background and click delete on my keyboard. Here I'm selecting and deleting, selecting and deleting, selecting and deleting. Now my background is essentially transparent or clear. That's what those little checkerboard squares mean. Now I'm going to change the size of this picture and here I do want to maintain the aspect ratio. When I change the height, I want the width to change with it. So I'm changing the height to about 150 pixels. And I click OK. Here's my resized headshot. I'm going to select this with the arrow. And I'm going to make a copy of it that I can paste into my background layer. Take a look over here. I'm going to switch to the background layer. Here's my blue layer. Now I'm going to paste the headshot in. So I go to edit and I'm going to paste into a new layer. You can see layer 2 just showed up. And here I'm clicking Keep Canvas Size. I don't want the background size to change. And there I'll just resize it until I'm satisfied with the position and size. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, next, we need to make a third layer with some text on it. This will be the title of your website. So I'm going to create a new layer. Take a look here. I've got background layer. I can turn that on or off. There's my headshot layer. I can turn that on or off. I'm going to create a new layer. This layer will be my text layer. And I'll choose a color with the text tool. I'm going to change the font size, make it a little larger. And I'll choose a font. Here I've got one called Hello Kitty. And I will type in my website title. Okay, now I need to decorate this text a little. It's a bit thin. 
So I'm going to use a tool under Effects and Object called Outline Object. That will create an outline around this text. Now that just created a little larger pinkish outline. I'm going to see how it looks if I make it a little bigger with these sliders. Now I think I'm going to change the outline color. So I'm going to choose white and maybe resize the outline a bit. Okay, I like that. Next, I'm going to create a fourth and final layer with a, an extra picture. So I'm going to go to File and open up a picture that I have of a flower. And here you can see, again, I've still got all my working pictures. There's the flower I opened, here's the girl, and here's the background that we're working on. What I'm going to do now is remove that black background from the flower. So with the magic wand, I'm going to click right on that background and then click delete on my keyboard and those checkerboard squares mean that the background is now clear or transparent. I also need to flip this picture around so I used flip horizontal there and I'm also going to resize it. Remember that the background height is around 136 so I'm going to make this about 150 pixels and that looks pretty good. Now with the arrow tool I'm going to select this picture and make a copy of it and then I'm going to switch back over to the website header that I'm working on and I'm going to paste the flower into there. So edit, paste into a new layer and again, I'm going to keep the canvas size. I don't want the website header size to change. And I'm just going to slide this flower over. That looks pretty good. Okay, now you can see I can turn these layers on and off. I can turn off the text. I can turn off the headshot. I can even turn off the clear, the blue background layer. Now I'm going to click on the background layer so I can change that color to see how it would look in a different color. So I use the paint bucket and I'll just click black over here. And then I'll click on my background and turn that black and that looks nice. I'll try red. That's also nice. You can see you can modify it until it fits your website colors. And my website that I'm putting this in happens to be purple so I'm going to use purple and now I need to save this picture so I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to change it to a PNG type of file. And I'm going to give it a name. It's called Header Logo, and Save. Right here I'm clicking OK. Nothing to change here. Now this is going to flatten all the layers into a single layer. Take a look up here. I've got four layers that I made and when I choose flatten squeezes them all into one layer and that's it here is a finished website header on a website there's the website and that's how the header looks on it